And a car pulled up on the grid. It's Tyler Everinger. Tyler Everinger, our third position. No. He was due to start inside row two, and this could lead to an extra formation lap. Yeah, they're going to have to obviously get that car out of the way. And really, the best way to do that is, like you say, Chad, send the field around. And that'll take a race lap away from our 12 lap race distance. So we'll just wait on race control and see how they're going to deal with this. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh. That's not what you want. That's coming from the. Yeah, hard to pick up where that's actually coming from, that smoke, but I'd say he's got an alarm on his dash straight away. The road to supercars starts right here at Mount Panorama. Who's ready to be a superstar? In Dunlop Super 2. Oh, great start, Andrew Missouri. He's ticked that first box and he's skinned his teammate perfectly off the start line. That is an awesome start from Andrew Missouri. Almost carried too much speed into turn one. He had that much clear space. As we go looking back at the field, we have a bit of two wide. Aaron Seaton running next to Zach Best, trying to get a run up the outside for the run to turn two. And then they're three wide on the inside of him, so they're freight training Aaron Seaton at the moment. They're not letting him in when they get to the run up to turn two. So Seaton in the orange number 30, Sharon Rentals car. That's Matt Stone racing. He's high and dry. Fight between the teammates is absolutely on. The Triple Eight boys duking it out here in the mountain. Andrew Mazuris is incredibly quick across the top. Yes, he got it wrong last time by, but that's where he earned his pole award as well. We check out what happened between McLean and Ojeda. Heavy contact sent Ojeda's car wide. And for me, Ojeda's just run a little bit too wide. Try to get on the gas too early. We'll go on board. This will tell us the story. Three wide in the middle, aborts that, back to second gear. And here, just picks the throttle up. Matt McLean can't really go anywhere. And they maybe just trying to get to the same bit of tarmac as each other. He's just oh. not getting himself out of the chase. Now, Brock Feeney's had a look up the inside. Is he far enough? Doesn't look like it. Is he going to try and out break him? Get it done here, Australia. He has broke a bit later. Mazuris gives him a bit of room. Feeney to the lead. Change for the lead, but has he got the right exit? Looks pretty good. Garth is nodding in approval. Oh no, Aaron Seaton in the Sharon Rentals car is coming in. We've had a change for the lead between Brock Feeney and Andrew Zuris. And now more drama, as unfortunately for Matt Stone Racing, Aaron Seaton has a problem. And McPhillamy back in Super oh. 3. Wild moment, very wild moment between Reef McCarthy, who's in his first touring car race this weekend, and the very experienced Jim Policino. That's a pretty wild moment for sure. You don't often, you not often get up the inside. There, we see here a replay. Aaron Seaton coasting down through the chase, and yeah, he's got no drive. Yeah, that's, uh, yep. that's a real shame. Any... That's just coasting, and it's not rolling. With Missouri's looking back at Jordan Boys and Zach Best doing a good job to close that gap as well. Great fight for the first race of the championship in Dunlop Super 2 and Dunlop Super 3. Great to see the Super 3 cars rolling on Dunlop rubber this year. And Missouri's in the pit box. Commodore, Triple A car behind him. Missouri's actually this time around got a good run up Mountain Straight as we start our last lap of the race. Feeney out to two and a half seconds. He's looking like he's got this one in the bag. But second place, certainly all to play for. That certainly got our attention. Here we go. Nash Morris runs it wide for the run down to Forest Elbow. We saw Scotty McLaughlin nice. do that here last year in the 1000. <laughs> got it stopped. Nicely done, Nash. Very smooth. He'll bring this one home nicely. And that's a great start to his 21 campaign. Scott Pye, 2012 Homebush. Last win in Super 2 for Triple Eight. They've had a bunch of drivers, including Casey Stoner since then, but now it's Brock Feeney. And how about the fight for second? Just a one-two. Hench Masuris, the last corner of the race, runs it wide. We just saw that in the background as Brock Feeney took the win. Car Triple Eight victorious once again on the mountain and the first win in nine years in Super 2 for Triple Eight. Good race, pushed all the way. And that was exciting for that last few spots on the podium as well. Congratulations to Brock Feeney, victorious in Super 2. It was a good race, that one, as the clouds continue to gather. There's John McCorkendale. And uh, as was his desire, finishing ahead of a couple of Super 2 cars and proving that he's ready to take that next step. And he is keen to take that next step as well up the ranks.